Visi Viewer is an intuitive module within the Visi software. It is a must have in manufacturing for the shop and the office areas. In this video, we're going to showcase reasons as to why. So we're going to start out with the opening and merging from Visi Viewer. You can open or merge multiple files into one. Visi supports a bunch of different file types, such as CATIA, NX, Pro e Creo, Parasolid, Step, IGIS, and more. As you can see here in the drop downs, showcases all of those different modules. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and open up a CATIA file. So we're going to import an individual file into the Visi software. You have a bunch of different import options, which allows you to change up how the file is going to import in. As you can see, here's a car fender that we imported in directly from CATIA. Now we're going to go ahead and draw a bounding box. So the bounding box command allows us to get an exact width, length, and height for the entire part. This is aligned to the current work plane. We can also minimally align it to the part itself. And when we do things like that, we can set offsets, set an offset for the length, width, and height, positive, negative, or set a journal offset. If I choose to, I can create a work plane right from the bounding box command. I'm going to select the middle of the part based on this box and create a work plane from there. I can activate that work plane. I can also create a wireframe box around this as well as a solid box. Now that we've created our work plane, we can view our undercut, accessibility, and draft shading. This allows us to quickly analyze the part and see if there's any kind of undercuts. This can highlight problem areas very quickly. So accessibility shading does the same thing. This tells us in a machine standpoint what's accessible. And then you also have draft shading to figure out a range. So everything between this and this range, make it this color, positive and negative. We could do a quick query. I'm going to go ahead and select the part and query it. It gives me information like external area and volume. You can switch the units between inches and millimeters on the fly and figure out where this part sits on absolute and that new work plan that I created. Within Visi Viewer, we can also take quick screenshots for report purposes. I'm going to paste a screenshot right into Microsoft Word, and the screenshot can be pasted into anything you want. And then we're going to do a quick query distance measurement. So we're going to do a point-to-point -point measurement between these two points, figure out the exact distances, as well as the distance in X, Y, and Z. If I select the Keep Results label, it actually maintains the labels within this design. So as you can see, the labels do stick, and they could be also used for screenshots. We'll go ahead and figure out the weight of the solid part. Based on the material, you can figure out how much this part is going to weigh. So whether it's plastic material, metal material, and more. And then we can select the surface. We can see what surface type this is going to be, draft angles based on our cursor, and so on. You can figure out what that surface information is going to be based on the face that you select. Then from here, we'll go ahead and cut a section out of this part. Visi offers the dynamic section command, which allows you to cut a section into the part, as well as draw a 2D wireframe based off that section cut. We can do this off of faces. We can also do this off the entire solid itself. So as you can see, we drew some wireframe off of the entire solid. Now let's look at a full assembly. We've imported this full assembly into Visi, and we're going to be able to use the filtering tools to be able to filter out what we want to see. In this case, I'm selecting the cavity block. So I can go ahead and select that. I can also place dimensions in here. Just like the query distance, I could place a standard dimension into this part. Use W key to toggle the position or the direction of where it's going to go. And then I could change the shade rendering. Switch from wireframe, transparency, a shaded view. Use a slider bar to adjust the shade transparency. And then also use mixed rendering to be able to shade one thing and set everything else to wireframe or transparency based on the slider bar. As you can see, when I activate the slider bar, it makes it transparent or shaded. When I import in a full assembly, I have the ability of seeing the full assembly within the assembly manager. You can see this shows all the individual parts. It highlights the individual parts. Some additional filtering for this is going into hide entities. And everything that's visible will be the only thing displayed. 
As you can see, when I start selecting items, I can specify what is going to be visible, what is not. From here, we have the bill of material. You can see your entire stock list. It shows a quantity of everything in here, or if everything's individualized, it'll just show you a list of all the available items. This list can be exported out as an Excel document. Within the assembly view, this is an important module when you're merging and importing in files. As in some cases, especially with Katia NX, it will include an assembly. This assembly allows easy viewing and easy access to imported assemblies from these softwares, so you can easily filter through them without having some sort of layer structure in it. For a shop using Visi Machining and Wire as an office manager, I could view all the programming that was done on the file. As you can see, you can see all the features that were created. You can also see any kind of milling operations that were added. This includes two and three axis, three to three plus two, three plus one, five axis, so on. And you can also view your wire EDM files. If the design team created 2D designs, these are viewable as well. If your shop uses Visi Flow, these can be viewed within the viewer too. So you've got filling holding shape here. If I load the results for the filling, you can see how plastic fills into this part based on those ejection points. You can view other things too, such as temperature, as well as cooling times. Along with filling, we can also view the shape of the part. So you can preview plastic shape if this is done in Visi Flow. For die quoting, you can use Visi Blank. This is an additional module you would add to your viewer. But it allows you to do is it allows you to flatten your part and preview the flattened part from Visi Blank. It allows you to see any kind of splitting areas. It allows you to animate how the part is going to bend. All this can be done with a viewer and makes it easy for simple die quoting. You can export an HTML report, which you can send to a customer as well. And then with an additional module, you can do compare and overlays. This allows you to compare two parts and see exact differences between the two parts. As you can see, these show only differences. You can display distance to info and see the exact distance between the two parts.